Where is Walt Disney World? Chapter 8. Changes and Updates Many rides or attractions from Disney World's opening day are still around, although they might have a new look. They include Country Bear Jamboree, Dumbo the Flying Elephant, Frontierland Shootin' Arcade, Jungle Cruise, Mad Tea Party, Peter Pan's Flight, Prince Charming Regal Carousel, Swiss Family Treehouse, the Hall of Presidents, the Haunted Mansion, Tomorrowland Speedway, the Walt Disney Railroad, and Enchanted Tiki Room, and It's a Small World. Other opening day rides have been phased out. One of those is Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. It was a wacky ride in a two-person open-air buggy that would do things like skid past falling stacks of books in a library and zoom through a fireplace. Some people love Mr. Toad so much that they protested the closing of the ride with signs and letters that read, Save the Toad! Don't worry, if this sounds like a ride for you, you can still go on it in Disneyland. Did you know that once a Disney World ride with submarines that actually submerged partly underwater with guests inside? It was called 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and lasted from 1971 through 1994. It was based on the Disney movie from the book written by Jules Verne. Guests in the sub sat in rows facing outward through portholes. They saw wonders such as the lost city of Atlantis, magical mermaids, animatronic sea monsters, coral, lost shipwrecks, and sharks. The submarines required a lot of upkeep, which is part of the reason this ride closed. There's people protesting and then people in the underwater subs. Pirates of the Caribbean, a boat ride through a Spanish style fortress came to Walt Disney World a couple of years after opening day. Walt Disney helped design this ride, which has been popular at Disneyland since 1967. It has animatronic singing pirates, which has been updated to include Captain Jack Sparrow from the movies. One of the newest additions at Disney World is Pandora, the world of Avatar, which opened in Animal Kingdom in 2017. It takes place in a magical world named Pandora, which is, protect which is protected by tall blue human-like creatures named the Navai. Some of the rides feel almost like you're flying on a dragon-like banshee, and it is really cool. That's Pirates of the Caribbean and Pandora. More big changes are coming to Disney World. Two new lands. An 11-acre Toy Story land is scheduled to open in summer 2018 in Hollywood Studios. It will look like a backyard full of giant toys, Andy's backyard. And he has built some fun stuff for you, like a roller coaster called Slinky Dog Dash, and an alien swirling saucers attraction with toy flying saucers. An epic all new 14 acre land called Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is also coming to Hollywood Studios in 2019. It'll be like a full size Star Wars movie set of a trading port on a remote planet. It's an immersive attraction, which means you're meant to feel like you're really in the Star Wars world, meaning smugglers, droids, and characters from the films. Two main attractions are planned, but don't have names yet. The first one, Resistance Trooper versus Stormtrooper battling it out. The number one thing many Star Wars fans wish they could do is pilot the Millennium Falcon, the fastest ship in the galaxy. In the second ride, it looks like they'll get their wish. Walt Disney once said, Disneyland will never be completed. It will continue to grow as long as there is imagination left in the world. The same is true of Disney World. It's always changing and being updated in big or small ways with something old or new and magical to enjoy. And that's the end of chapter eight.